What matters is what how you feel about it, yeah? Bike blogger here. Topical die, topical die. On a way to walk to die. Top of the day, top of the day. Topic is how do your coworkers react to you by commuting to work? How do they react? Do any of your coworkers bike to work like you? Are they bike commuters like you? If you are a bike commuter, this video isn't directed just at bike commuters. But I am kind of curious if you do bike commute, how do your coworkers react to that? Does it matter? No, ultimately it doesn't matter because who cares what other people think, right? But do they think it's cool? Do they think it's dangerous? I'd like to know. Do anybody else bike commute at your workplace? I worked at a place where uh, I had other people who would ride their bike to work, but they wouldn't do it every day. Uh, not like me, not like I do it every day. But I did have people who liked to ride bikes and people who did bike commute to work. Uh, but the majority of people didn't. And the majority of people, I don't think really were, you know, into biking at all, really. But that's not surprising, you know? I'm gonna make a left, I'm gonna go up this way. Woo! Um, so yeah. I feel like uh, people who don't bike commute to work is probably because they may not live anywhere near. I mean, I, I've worked with people who, like they lo live like over a mile drive away. <laughs> so you're not gonna bike that obviously to get to work. But I did work with some people who lived within a distance, you know, that they could ride a bike to work, but they didn't. But I think that all the people who rode bikes to work did actually live, you know, like within a few miles distance from work. So kind of like me. So I think it's more likely people will understand and may bike commute to work if obviously they live near their work. That's not an easy thing to always kind of work out, but that's kind of like one of the more, let's make a left here, kind of one of the more important things for me. You know, when I pick a job, I want to be near that job or have some sort of flexibility uh, with my hours or whatever so I can work around, uh, you know, traffic. Lately though, I've been just going in really early in the morning. So it doesn't really matter at that point. If I go in so early in the morning, you can uh, avoid most traffic. It's kind of cool. He's got like these people got lights up like Christmas or something. I don't know. I guess they just run the lights all year round. It is, uh, let's, make a, let's make a left. Let's go this way. It is, uh, what is it April? No, it's April, middle, middle of April right now. So yeah, I don't know what the holiday, I don't know what that would have been about Easter maybe, I don't know. Maybe some people just have the lights on like Christmas lights all year round. Kind of cool, I guess, I don't know. Woo, it's feeling pretty good. I actually forgot my gloves today, so we're just doing gloveless. Loveless, gloveless. I gotta be really careful not to fall down now because I don't want to you really mess up your hands with no gloves on. Some people prefer to ride their bikes with no gloves on, which you know it's kind of I think that's kind of strange decision, but you know sometimes I forget so things happen. Make a left here. I'm gonna go down the hill this way. It is two way, this one. Some of these roads are one way, some are two way. This way is two way. Woo! So, yeah, my wrists are still kind of eh. It's really the only thing keeping me from being able to ride my bike as often as I would like to this time of year because I love the weather. This is really nice weather right now we're having. 
like a 60s, 70s, 50s Fahrenheit. Uh, see, I'm really liking the weather. Woo! But yeah, pretty much, as long as I don't like get out, the problem is I ride a single speed bike, so I'm always getting out of the saddle and just like kind of ripping and pulling on the handlebars. So I'm cranking like up hills and stuff out of the saddle as I like to do a lot. And I never realized how much, you know, how much, I wouldn't say wear and tear, but how much strain, I guess that's the right word, you put on your wrist when you do that. Maybe I'm not doing it right, I don't know. I try not to move my wrist a lot when I sway back and forth with the, uh, or I sway the bike back and forth. You don't want to be swaying your whole body back and forth. That's just terribly inefficient. Because when you're climbing out of the saddle or you're uh, sprinting or something, you really are just trying to get that leverage on the bike itself to propel you forward and get that leverage on those uh, pedals too. But yeah, you're not trying to actually shake your body back and forth. That's not efficient. You want to kind of keep your body straight. You do, I guess, move, I guess you do kind of move your arms though. Cause I am feeling it through my wrists a little bit. Woo. Let's go left here. So yeah, just curious what uh, your guys is, let's make it right here. What your guys' is coworkers think. I guess it'd probably be no different than really like, what does your family think about you? Bike commuting to work and really, yeah, who cares, right? Really, it doesn't really ever really matter. What matters is what, how you feel about it, yeah? Uh, be careful here. It's kind of a blind spot. All right, we're good. Woo. Almost to work now. Almost to work now. Stomp. Boom, boom. You know, I'm always, I'm always for not being normal. I don't want to be boring and normal. Not in all things, at least, you know? Ugh. And definitely riding a bike to work. <laughs> that makes you a little of an outlier. You're not so super normal doing that. At least not around where I live. You're definitely one of that 1% group. And that's what I like to do. I like to, I like to be different. I like to be different. There's some things that, you know, I do like everybody else does, you know, like, <laughs> like I prefer a PC. I use a Microsoft computer. I don't use an Apple computer, but Apple is a very popular thing nowadays with the phones, at least. I use an Android device though. So I think, I think still more people use Android than uh, the Apple iPhone, even though it's crazy popular. But I don't know, that's a poor, that's a poor comparison, right? So I'm talking really, if you got like 1% of the population that's bike commuting or less than that, like around where I live, especially year round, uh, you're talking really oddity. I mean, I've had, I've had, I've had some really nice coworkers though. Like, uh, I still remember one time coworker uh, asked me like, hey, you, I see it's like, it's snowing pretty bad out there. <laughs> Would you like a, a, a ride home? It's like, that's nice, but I got my e-bike. That was when I did my e-bike video years ago. I still wanted to try it out and I did. And it worked pretty great in the snow. It's really just a matter of having too much depth of snow though. Uh, it's not so much having snow on the road. It's gotta be prepared for the ice. And if it's just too deep, and not the right kind of snow. Not the snow you can just kind of cut through, but snow you just sink in. Well, then that can be a problem. But otherwise, if it's a dusting or if there's actually some sort of plowing being done on the roads, it's not that bad, really. Woo! And why, guys? I made it to work. So let me know in the comment section below. What your coworkers think about you bike commuting? And how many of them do bike commute? I'd be a little more interested in that actually. <laughs> Those that do bike commute, how they feel about it, how often they do it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. 
We'll see you next time. Woo.